going on, y'all? Today we're at the beautiful Governor's Club in Brentwood, Tennessee. We're just gonna grip it and rip it today. Uh, and yeah, man, uh, let's have a good time. Let's see how we play. And um, here's another round with Terry. I mean, I guess if that's what y'all fucking want. Nice and easy par three here. We're looking at about 140 yard snipe downhill. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, she's curving. She's curving. A little short. Here looking at our birdie putt, okay? We're give or take 25 yards out. As always, we get in the downward dog. Okay. We get here. We're looking at this putt. Okay, we're looking at the putt. The, the dealio is, I'm about to put the ball in that fucking hole. Okay, no one's gonna stop me, okay? What your unemployed friend does on a Tuesday. Yes. Uh-oh. Little hot. Little hot. Little hot. Little hot. Hit it like a little pussy. Like a little fucking pussy. Tap in fucking boat. I'm not used to starting off with a bogey. <laughs> that's just not part of my game. But I hit the green and three putted, so that's usually where my error is, is within my putting capabilities. But, uh, you know, I'm hitting them like fucking Zalatoris out here. Well, that car girl was bad as fuck, to say the least. Uh, beautiful par four here. Hope I don't hit some geese. That ball's not teed up enough. Woohoo! How we feeling about that one? We're feeling fucking great. How does Cindy feel about you coming out here? Cindy, uh, she doesn't know. She thinks I'm still employed. <laughs> so I never really told my wife about why I don't have a job anymore. So she thinks that when I'm going to work, you know, I'm going to work, but I'm really fucking golfing. She doesn't understand why there's no money going in. So she thinks, oh, I'm gambling and drinking again. Grow the fuck up. I'm not that much. All right, so we're about 120 yards out on this par four. Fucking smoke the drive like I smoke hot chicks every weekend. <laughs> That's okay, man, because when you smack a fucking drive, I'm going to go up and down over there, okay? And I don't give a fuck what fucking Biden has to say about it, okay? Or fucking Kamala's ugly ass. Almost got fucking Bud Lights at the gas station, then I remembered I'm a fucking man. <laughs> you know, so we got Natty. I should not be driving home. <laughs> but I will be. That's the thing. Heads up! You know, bounce, baby. And she's rolling. And she's rolling. And she's rolling, dude. <laughs> Come on now. Look at fucking Terry. I should be on the PGA fucking tour, bitch. Yeah, pretty straight. Let's see how she looks. This is our par putt, so let's see if we can stay one over. Oh my god, motherfucker. Now I'm kind of a local at Aldine's bar downtown. Yeah, so that's kind of the key to my golf game is after every round, I'm usually riding a super nice buzz and I go to Al Dean's or uh, fucking Luke Bryan's downtown and just get shit faced. Uh, I've ended up on that Scoop Nashville account three times now. <laughs> so that last hole was a par five and I got it in five. So that's a fucking par, but this is a par four. Uh, just hit my, you know, my drive right here. So we're looking at that pin sniper of a green at about, you know, give or take 175 yards. So I'm going to slap my six iron at it and let's just see what happens. Oh, fuck, man. Well, that's in someone's yard. Um, that's right when your fucking round goes wrong. Okay, what the fuck is funny? Why are you like I didn't stutter. I didn't fucking stutter, okay? You know, I'm just going to help you out, teach you some things too uh, while we're at it, you know? Uh, so we're about probably 50 yards, give or take, and I got my little gap wedge right here. And basically, if you're just not a little pussy, you'll put it right on the green, you know? So, allow me to demonstrate. And that's going to be short as fuck. They tell you about these fuckers, that you blow them, and that, no homo, but you blow them, and then your dreams are supposed to come true, whatever. You know how many times I've blown that fucker? <laughs> you know how many times I've blown that fucker and not had a perfect golf round? That shit is, that shit's a myth, okay? I've proven it myself, that's a fucking myth.
That's what I do to the ball. Is pipe that bitch. You feel me? That's the thing is I don't really give a fuck about what the ball's feelings are. You know, because I just send it 350 and say bye bye. Oh, man, I'm slicing it really fucking bad. I think it's you with this camera back here. We're here on hole seven, and this is the point where I start to feel a little intoxicated. <laughs> okay, and you know, my morning routine is uh, half a fifth, so you know, and that gets the shakes to go away. <laughs> Annoying ass cart. Annoying ass fucking, why do they beat? You know, why do they beat? We know we're going backwards. Seven iron here, about 130 uphill. Um, I don't hit it as far as I fucking used to, but let's see where this goes. And fucking right by a fucking mile. Do you warm up before? Do you stretch at all? Rule number one of my stretching, don't fucking interrupt it. Yes, I stretch before. I'm a fucking pro. What are your kids doing today? They don't talk to me. <laughs> Grab my fucking club. What's your favorite part about the game? Uh, probably just being able to drink and drive and not get fucking pulled over by the PD. You know, that thing is, you know, I can drink as much as I want to out here and then I just can hit the clubhouse and just fucking drink the rest of the night and, you know, I've gotten to know the staff well enough to where they just fucking drive me home. That's the dealio. I'm kind of just a local and they don't really give a fuck. Uh, I really like the, um, that, that, that guy Kenny Chesney. You know, Kenny Chesney and Jimmy Buffett, those are my guys, you know. No shoes nation, you know, have another beer in Mexico sort of feel. You Big know? Margaritaville guy? Oh, yeah, I've been there, been there plenty of times. You know, that's, that's my joke with the ladies. They're like, where are you from? I'm like, Margaritaville. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They eat it up. Terry, who would you say inspires you? Um, Inspires me. Um, Donald Trump and John Daly. <laughs> Those are the two guys I think of that kind of morally and, you know, everything I'm about kind of just, you know, they're straight in line with my ideas. You know, Donald Trump, for one you know, for one point, gets bitches like I do, doesn't give a fuck, and run shit. You know, th those three things, you know, are all in line with me. Second of all, John Daly grips it and rips it, drinks and smokes darts, and doesn't give a fuck in the same way Donald doesn't. You know, so those two guys for me are kind of my role models, and guys I hope I can be like even more. And I need a fucking zen. Where the fuck are they? Whatever you youngins are using those zens. And I saw this guy on TikTok, Chetty? Mr. Chetty talking, talking Zimbabwe and shit. I'd beat his ass if I saw him in person. <laughs> Calling out freezer tarps, okay? I can rip more upper deckies and lower deckies than you can. Okay, motherfucker? So my back's hurting me again, um, so I'm going to have to head out. Um, also, Cindy's ringing my line and apparently found another girl's pair of underwear at the house, so... You know, that happened fucking two weeks ago, and it was a bra, so I'm kind of used to that. But, hey, man, you did annoy the fuck out of me a few times. You can do that, motherfucker. But, yeah, uh, if you see me out in public, act like you don't know me, okay? Have a good one, man. Appreciate you. I'm going to head back to the clubhouse and get fucked up.